If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Gusner Elf. It is bright out here, so I apologize for the squinting. Here, let's, uh, well, if I do that, we get the shadow. Oh man, this is not a, not a good solution. All right, so I had a, a question for you, a, a deck idea on which I've been working that, they think they're cool, uh, on which I've been working that I haven't found a, a good solution for yet. As you may have seen, in standard at least right now, uh, Eldritch Evolution is a good value card. It doesn't feel like it should be because of course you're two for one in yourself, but you're getting a much more powerful creature. But right now, there aren't any insane combo creatures or lock creatures or anything like that. You're going for value, usually is how it works. And what I would like to do, I haven't so far seen a list, this, this is basically what I'm getting at. I haven't seen a list so far that goes and gets, say, Ulamog with Eldritch Evolution. That seems to me like the sort of insane play that breaks the card. You know, in modern you can do stuff like that. In Standard, it seems a good bit harder to. Now, if Standard had not changed, if Block Rotation had not changed, then we would be doing some stupid, stupid things. We would have the Delve creatures, and then you could, you know, play a control game, you know, drop your Delve creatures, and then Eldritch Evolution into something huge, which is basically what one of the ways that you can do it uh, in Modern. It's my preferred way. However, <laughs> that is... Uh, not something that you can do as easily in Standard, because you don't have the Delve creatures. You have to sort of find another workaround. And I've come up with three solutions. I wonder which is the best, and ultimately if there are any others that could substitute for these. So the first one is the use of the card Bedlam Reveler. If you're playing a red X, you know, red green or red green X control game, then you could play something like Bedlam Reveler. Fill your graveyard with instants and sorceries, kill spells, counter spells, whatever the case may be, a uh, land ramp, and then go and get out a, a Bedlam Reveler, draw three cards, and then you can Eldritch Evolution that eight drop, because even though you're probably paying two, three, four mana for it, it's an eight drop, and you can go and get Ulamog with it. Problem, you have to discard your hand and then draw three cards. Now for some list, that's fine, they have enough draw power to get themselves out of that, but even then, that sort of inconsistency makes playing the card a little too random for my taste. But that is one option that you have, certainly. Another option is the card Dusk Feaster. I really don't like this card. Um, it is a 7 mana, 4-5, with flying, but it only costs 5 mana, rather it costs 2 less, if you have Delirium. In addition to still being 5 mana at its cheapest cost, we are talking about a card that, you know, still won't get you Ulamog. You can get up to 9 drops, but you can't get Ulamog. And so that brings me to number 3, option number 3. And that is using the Emerge creatures. Now, Emerge is already a top tier deck in standard right now. You can go and, you know, the, the classic play is the turn 3 Pilgrim's Eye into the turn 4 insert Eldri Emerge creature here. Um, I, I can't remember the one that has black black in its Emerge cost that strips them of two cards from their hand. That one's the, the one where it's really at. If you could play, what? yeah, if you could play something like um, Pilgrim's Eye into that Eldrazi into an Ulamog with Eldritch Evolution, well, that would also be another way to go about doing it, and it wouldn't cost too much mana, and you wouldn't have to play the inconsistent game with Bedlam Reveler. Problem. Emerge creatures already are in and of themselves often enough. Especially that one, because it's not only big on its own, but it strips them of options from their hand. Uh, ways to get rid of it. So, it might just be a step too cute to play something like that. You could win the game without the Eldritch Evolution plan. This would just give you, uh, I'm worried that it would be a win more button, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it actually would be better to play something like that. Um, Evangeline, would you like to say bye-bye to everybody? Say bye-bye. 
or look at whatever is distracting me. Say bye-bye to the camera. Give me the camera. Here we go. Say bye-bye. Oh. oh. I'll take this instead. We'll see you later. And again, if you have any comments, any suggestions, any sample deck list, put them in the description, in the comment section below. Thanks. Bye-bye.